Hey, I'm Micah, this is Ben, and we're here from fineworkin4hours.com where we're showing people exactly how to never experience unemployment ever again. Ben is uh, tired and laughing for some unknown reason. <laughs> <laughs> and a word from our sponsors. <laughs> I just came to my head and I was like, uh, how can I throw that into the... <laughs> I'm like, we can't do it without a straight face. Straight face, straight face. And I think we should just leave this in here right now. Because, <laughs> no, I'm serious. We're, it's, uh, what time is it right now? It's uh, close to midnight, Calgary time. And uh, we're two passionate dudes trying to really make sure that we share what we think is valuable information. We know we can help change some people's lives. So we're willing to stay up and, until my eyes go bloodshot from the dry office air because they turn the air off tonight but um, what we want to talk about right now is something that's kind of personal to us <laughs> there's a tendency at times if you don't do things right to have your clients turn on you um, it may be justified or it may not be it may be their ignorance it may be they're venting because their wife is upset at something Mm -hmm. um, so the question is, is how do you deal with it? What do you do? It's kind of like any other work situation. Would you agree? I mean, if you were working with a bunch of coworkers in an office, sometimes you get into it, right? And things can get nasty. Unlike that office, you usually have a, uh, a barrier, so to speak, because you're on the phone. That can be an advantage and a disadvantage. Yeah, you, you don't, don't want to hang up. <laughs> that I highly don't. Yeah, that's 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 not recommended. I've had that happen to me, and doesn't feel good. Uh, if you are somebody who values your relationships with your clients, um, you need to sort of navigate these situations with caution. You don't want to be. You don't want to accept shit and take it all the time either. I, I've been in both positions where I used to just tolerate it and tolerate it and tolerate it and I'd be frustrated and I'd, then I wouldn't get anything else done that day and it'd bother me and I wouldn't sleep and that doesn't, it's not beneficial either. When there's a problem, you need to address it. You gotta, they, Directly. Will, they will respect you more when you do address it rather mm -hmm. than not addressing it because trust me, it's getting noticed regardless that actually brings up a really good uh, uh, story for me right when I first got started um, I had sold a website to a client and she was actually kind of a friend which is also a tricky situation never well. never work with friends or family don't don't take their work but I did it anyways and I gave her a really great deal I was trying to build my portfolio and she was getting I'm not gonna mention names a smoking deal on a full-fledged e-commerce site and uh, we started to experience something that I have uh, been calling with Ben uh, scope creep where you start out talking about and, and, and working on this finite project and they ask you for a little bit more and you're a nice guy so you give them a little bit more and they ask you for a little bit more and then you finally realize you're working for half no good. I kept taking it until I finally flipped out. <laughs> Not the best way to handle it, but it was very informative in the sense that I actually ended up screaming at this woman and telling her that, listen, if you're not happy with the way that I do my work, feel free to go find somebody else to do it for the rate that I'm doing it for you. I hung up the phone and I felt terrible. So the, the, the venting was not really good for me physically. On the flip side, the venting put a complete stop to her behavior. Not only that, she actually somehow realized she was wrong and sent me extra money. So in that sense... Uh, it doesn't always no, play out like that. Correct. It, but it the, can blow up in your face really big. The, uh, what I was getting at was the point of being direct and, and dealing with the issue. 
I let it go on too long to the point where I exploded. But scope creep is a massive issue.